So we're going to look at the first section of our Zybooks material here and talk about programming, what a computer program is. Um, since it's the first time using Zybooks, you should be going following the link to the Zybook website. Uh, there should be a table of contents index on the left. If we click on introduction, then the first section is on programming, and then the contents is displayed on the right here. And you should be reading through this. I'll walk you through some of this stuff to give you a brief outline uh, to help you as you read through and try out the different interactive exercises. The so first thing we talk about is what is a computer program. So a computer program is a set of instructions that the computer executes. Uh, it executes these in a certain order, and it's important that the uh, instructions be followed exactly. A computer is very literal, follow ex instructions exactly, and in the order given. Uh, a good analogy in the real world would be a recipe. Um, here's a recipe for chocolate chip cookies. This isn't the best recipe for chocolate chip cookies, but it's an okay one. But you can see the idea. You, you add these ingredients or follow these instructions. And again, it, you have to follow them very literally. If you were to bake uh, at 350 for 80 minutes instead of 8 minutes, your cookies would turn out drastically different than if you baked them for 8 minutes. Also, if you reordered these, uh, some of these, so if you, you only uh, took the butter and the sugar and then you baked it and then you poured the egg on top, you'd get a different uh, result. Um, so now it's making me think of going home and making some chocolate chip cookies. So again, feel free to go try out a recipe uh, if you want. Okay, this next act, uh, activity talks more about the order of execution. This is a sample program. This is not really Java code. Uh, this is just kind of like partial, partially like a program. So sometimes we call this pseudocode. Uh, because it's just somewhat like real Java code. Uh, we can run this program, and uh, there's a variable m that gets assigned different values at different times here, and different operations are done it, and then we print out m, and then the printout is shown on this little fake computer screen here. And right now it prints out 3, 6, 16, 256, prints out 256 at the end. Uh, but we can reorder these things. So your job is to reorder these so that it can print out uh, 676. So I can just click on these and drag these around uh, in different orders um, and then run the program again. So your job is to reorder these so that it prints out 676 at the end. See if you can figure that out. Right now, it's printing out 13 at the end, so that's not the right answer. So try that out. Um, again, it records your progress on here, as at least when you get these areas done. Uh, it's okay if you make mistakes and that sort of stuff with this. Just try to find the correct solution for this stuff. These are fun interactive e exercises. So again, uh, we talked about these programs or these algorithms, these step-by-step -step instructions. So again, uh, here you're supposed to read through the instructions and uh, fill in the right answer. So again, if we're making lemonade, we're going to fill a jug with water. We're going to add lemon juice. We then don't have something else we have to do and stir. So what should we stick in this blank? Should we add salt? I don't think we add salt uh, to this. Should we add water? I can click on that. Uh, and it'll tell you no need to add water again. Oh yeah, we already added water. So should I add sugar? So I can add sugar and then that shows as the correct, uh, you get a green check and shows that's the correct uh, thing to put in this blank. So your job is to just go through here, read through these little uh, programs, these sets of instructions that are ordered and figure out what needs to be uh, provided. And again, you can click on the answers uh, to try them out and then the right answer will show the right way. So. Um, so that's our, our basic interactive uh, textbook. We'll be doing more interactive uh, versions like this, and the program will keep track of uh, your results at the end of each episode.